If you have good math, science, and mechanical skills, and are comfortable working at heights, think about becoming a wind turbine technician. You would inspect, repair, and maintain huge wind turbines. Let's learn more from a wind turbine technician. I'm Dylan Perot. I'm a wind turbine technician. A wind turbine technician is responsible for troubleshooting, repairing, and maintaining wind turbines. A typical day for me would be we arrive at the shop around 7 in the morning. We have approximately about an hour's worth of administrative paperwork, as well as checking the sites that we look after, and also performing other administrative tasks. Once we do that, we we get our PPE and any other necessary gear, as well as our fire retardant clothing. And we load up our trucks. We make sure our trucks have all the tooling, equipment, and spare parts that we need. After our trucks are all loaded and our plan is set, we head on to site. As a wind turbine technician, you always have a partner and you never work alone. We don't work alone because there are plenty of hazards involved with our occupation, such as working at heights, exposure to electrical equipment, exposure to mechanical pinch points. Once we enter the turbine, we will get all our gear into the tower and start sending our gear up the tower. And before we start climbing the tower, we will inspect our harness, any fall arrest gear, and we will double check with our partner before we start climbing. Once we get to the top, we will unload our gear from the bag. We will start setting up for whatever it is that we are repairing or troubleshooting. From everyday uh, operations and maintenance, we use your normal hand tools, multimeters, tool bag. We also have to use electrically insulated tools. Some of the problems we might be doing up there could be a routine service, which requires plenty of equipment, or just a simple failed component that we need to troubleshoot and repair. Those components can fail anything from transformers, relays, contactors, to any hydraulic components and solenoids. Um, gearboxes could have problems, generators can have problems. You have to have your necessary PPE, everything from boots to hard hats, to uh, electrical coveralls, to climbing helmets, uh, eyewear, and a harness and lanyards. The wind turns the blades of the turbine, so the gearbox will give a mechanical advantage to get higher RPM out of your generator. The generator will then produce power. Uh, your converter will convert the power to the proper frequency as well as power control and send it out the tower into our substation. And the substation will step up the voltage into the proper grid specifications. One of our sites has 47 turbines, each at 1.5 megawatts for a total of 71 megawatts. And with that 71 megawatts, they can produce enough power to power up 30,000 homes. It's important to keep them running or keep a high availability so when the wind is, is there, um, the turbines can produce as much power as possible. As a wind turbine technician, you have to have high angle rescue training and fall arrest training. You are trained to, to rescue yourself and others in a case where they may have fallen or is injured. During our day-to-day -day operations, we are exposed to the weather for a large part of the day. We spend a lot of time in the turbines, which are not environmentally controlled, so it can be hot, it can be cold. When I learned my trade, I was trained on the job. I had previous mechanical experience and now I am a third year electrician taking my electrical trade. For guys to get into the wind industry, what we look at are uh, people that are self-starters, uh, relative training, which would be a trade in either a millwright, electrician, uh, journeyman mechanics. As a wind turbine technician, you have to use computers every day. SCADA operations are the tools we use to remotely view um, and monitor and reset the turbines. The best skill suited for our job is having strong mechanical skills, strong electrical skills, and most importantly is a strong safety sense. As a technician, you have plenty of advancement opportunities. The wind industry is fairly new in Canada, and there's always room to grow. After Tech's been doing this a few years, uh, eventually uh, they might get into a lead hand position. We just started our own 24-hour control center. So uh, when a guy gets tired of climbing, there is that uh, possibility he can roll into that. The reason why I wanted to be a wind turbine tech is the 
being able to be outside. Um, I love fixing things and every day we learn something new. I find my job very satisfying because at the end of the day, you were able to take a machine that was producing no power and now it's online and producing power and supplying homes with plenty of power. Wind turbine technician is an emerging occupation, which means educational requirements can vary. Generally, you'll need a high school diploma or equivalent and a year or more of hydraulic, mechanical or electrical experience. Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website, and learn about related occupations like alternative energy technologist and instrument technician. Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca.